Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tutorial. So something I got asked recently by none other than Animation Cal is how you would animate a minecart. So if you're watching the Box Spring Animations channel, you may have seen my Wolf Life 2 episode where I have the wolf riding on the minecart and whatnot. So I figured it was the best time I could think of to go ahead and cover this for you guys since someone asked. And that is how to animate a dang old minecart on a rail. So some of this may seem pretty intuitive to you guys. Notice here that this is all going out of whack because I need to turn on show back faces and then now we can see everything. That's pretty good. All right, so all you need to do here is you're gonna have this rail set up. This is just a schematic that I made. If you watched the Wolf Life episode I was talking about, I used the custom items trick to do 3D rails. So it looks a little better than this. But uh, we basically got our little setup here and we're gonna spawn in a minecart. So what you gotta do is go over here to special blocks if you're having any trouble finding that. We're gonna go down here to search. We're gonna hit mine and minecart. We're gonna spawn it in and there it is. And we're good to go. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna turn on, if I can click on the right thing here. I'm gonna turn on our grid so we can move this hopefully a little more appropriately. Is this not set up properly? There we go. All right, now that everything is centered up, sorry about that. We're just gonna go ahead and drag it on over and then, and then, and then drag it up there and then drag it in, boop, something like that. And uh, I guess this wouldn't really be complete if we didn't go ahead and put something in it. So we'll just go ahead and put Steve in there, I guess. So we're gonna take Steve, we're gonna pair him to the mine cart. Everything looks good there and stuff. So Steve is just, let's go ahead and position him just real quick, just real fast. We're just gonna go ahead and throw a little pose on him real quick like it's not gonna take long at all i know this isn't part of the tutorial but i mean come on man you can't just have steve like just standing there i mean you could say that i should have had this set up before i started the video all right i get it but here you go he's done all right see that whole time you were complaining i did it all right so here's the mine card basically we're gonna try to go with a few different things that you might want to know here first of all how's it get started how does it change speed as it goes down? And then how do you go around corners and stuff? So again, we're gonna probably stick with kind of a, a pretty Minecrafty nature of the way this might look. So uh, yeah, I don't know if you wanna make it look a little bit different, more realistic, better or whatever. I'm gonna raise this up by the way, just a tad. I don't know how it should look, but I'm just gonna do that. Uh, or maybe not. Basically what we're gonna do is just take this dang old minecart. Let me, uh, but get us back over here to frame zero. I don't know why I'm up here. All right, now we're just gonna animate the minecart going. So first of all, I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna pick a random frame here. We're operating at the usual 30 frames per second here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come up here. And basically when you're ready for it to go up or down on something like this, I my technique that I initially tried was just doing this. Try to get it lined up where the rotation point of the minecart is pretty much in line with that corner. So what we get here, is that slow movement. So the minecart uh, may want to start out slightly slow, like maybe we want it to kind of start going like that, right? It's not too bad. I feel like that's a pretty decent look where we kind of build up speed as it begins to go. Depends on how you want it to look, of course. All right, so then basically what we're gonna do is have it go down this thing. So the way we're gonna animate that, I'm just gonna go about another second and we're gonna go on down just gonna eyeball this a little bit. We're gonna line it up again with another turn there, like right where the rail, basically right here where the rail bends back, something like that, it's pretty close. And we're gonna have it go down to, what level is this gonna be? Maybe 16, something like that. And it's gonna look terrible. And first of all, we need to make sure that these are linear keyframes, yep. So we have it go slow and then it goes down like that. And uh, that's not too bad and we're good to go there. All right, so first of all, we wanna know how to, I think it needs to go faster. So we're just gonna bring in the keyframe since we saw how fast that was. So when he hits that, it needs to go down faster, which isn't too bad. I think that's a fair speed to go with. And now that we have those set up, then anywhere we place the keyframe in the middle, it's gonna maintain that distance and whatnot. So that's what we want. And I'm just gonna rotate this. This is about two frames, as you can see there. And I think this is about a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on 45. And what you see there is you get Steve 
doing like so. Boop. And it looks a little bit weird in my opinion because the rail is actually hovering and I have him kind of at the same step as the blocks, but you know, we'll just go with that. All right, so this is two keyframes. So maybe over here, we'll go two keyframes again. Something like this, right when he's over here. And we actually wanna go ahead, before we go ahead and do this, I'm gonna go ahead and have it, I'm saying go ahead a lot. Okay, so when he reaches the bottom, we want him to go ahead and keep moving because if you recall, the way I did this is having it move really helps you to determine where things need to, to uh, turn, like how the rotation needs to go and stuff. So we're gonna have it keep moving as we uh, animate this, so. I'm gonna have the next part be right around here. Basically, I'm gonna line up the minecart with this, something like that, pretty close to where the rail churns. Doesn't have to be exact uh, because it's moving pretty fast, so a lot of these little details you won't even notice in an animation. I feel like the speed there is pretty good, actually. Surprisingly, we nailed it. And now that he's continued to move, I'm just gonna go two keyframes since we have two back here two keyframes here, and I'm gonna have him level out right there. So for this one, I want him to be at that 45 degree angle again. So 45, or maybe not. We'll see what it looks like, okay? There you go, something like that. Okay, so for this, uh, we may not want it to go like that because obviously, like I said, you won't notice this so much if you're watching it in motion. Like, see how fast that happens? You probably won't even notice it. So you could leave it that way. But if you're a stickler about it, then uh, let me go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this keyframe here. So he hits that and then it begins to go. And we may, basically what we want is since this is continuing, what I might do is actually go back to this frame here and then this frame here. So basically this one is right where he hits the, uh, the, the, the point of rotation there and we're gonna go ahead and just delete this one and have this one be where he levels out and then you get that move right there boop just like so and then what you get is he comes down and hits that so it really depends on how you want it to look uh, to me this looks slightly better he's not going into the ground as much but again in motion I don't really think you can tell that big of a difference so just leave that to your own discretion all right, so now he comes up and we need him to dang old churn, man. So what I'm gonna do here, uh, one thing I wanna note here, what I'm doing, if you haven't noticed, is I'm clicking in on the middle mouse wheel uh, on my mouse and I can drag left and right and that allows me to just pan around on the timeline seamlessly. That's something I learned recently and I thought I'd share it with you guys and help you out a little bit. So I hope that was helpful. All right, so basically what we want him to do is just churn this corner here. So I'm just gonna go with about 10 keyframes here just to see if that gives us what we need. And on this one, I'm gonna turn it. So it's gonna be negative 90. And I'm gonna set it up basically uh, the way that I had it set up over here, where the, instead of the front now, the back of the minecart is gonna be lined up with this side of it. Something like that, pretty close, doesn't really matter. And what we get is this motion right here. That may be going a little bit too slow, uh, but we'll just go with it for now. And at this point here, this is our midpoint, it's uh, off the rails a bit. So we're just gonna kind of finagle this into place. There may be a better method, but this is just the method that I used. It doesn't have to be exact, as you may well know. And then you get that right there. He goes across it. I feel like that's happening a little bit too slow, so I'm gonna drag these back a couple of keyframes, something like that. That looks a little better to me. And one thing I did in my Wolf Life animation is right here where it begins to churn. Let me uh, just drag that out right about there. And like when he's in mid turn, I actually went to this part. You had the minecart, which looks like this. And then you have the minecart, which looks like that. Like this is where the rotation point is in the middle. It doesn't really matter. You could do it with uh, this one, but you can also use this one if you want to use transitions independent of the linear transitions that we're using for the movement of the cart and we can have that happen like that. Uh, and as you can see there, Steve isn't moving with it, so you would have to parent him to that. It really depends. Uh, let's see what we can make it look like. Just real quick, just for the sake of it, let's go ahead and select key keyframes for Steve there, and we'll have him parented to the minecart, the sub minecart part, if that makes sense, that rhymed. Uh, and then when it comes around, it's gonna lean, 
and then straighten back out, something like that. And we can give this its own keyframe transition. So we're gonna give it that. And then this one would be maybe a ease in and out. And there you go. And then now we can keep the speed of the cart consistent and still give that a little bit of uh, some smooth motion there and make it look the way we want it to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put another keyframe and keep this moving so we can really see what that looks like. We're gonna use the same method here. Just basically line that up as closely as we can. And it looks like we're actually getting pretty lucky here and the speed is staying consistent. That's a little bit too fast. So you're gonna wanna just kinda keep watching it and make sure that your speed stays consistent. Whoop, whoop, just like so. And then you would do the same thing that we did back there for this part here. Instead of wasting your time by animating that again, I'll uh, just leave you with that. I'm pretty sure, hopefully that should cover most things that you would wanna know of how to animate a minecart and how to get that going. And let's just see what it looks like. Whoop. And there you go, man. There's Steve. He hits it and he's going around all the corners and everything and looks pretty good to me. I'd say that was a success. And uh, obviously, like I said, a lot of these little details you may not even notice that much uh, on camera, but you may feel better just knowing that it's there or if you show it or maybe slow it down or whatever you want to do, then you'll notice some of these little things that you did like here where he doesn't just churn. He comes around and the minecart actually leans as he goes. And you'll notice like in when you slow it down like this, it doesn't look that great. But when it's going fast, you can barely tell like that it doesn't even look that good. So, you know, it really depends on the speed and the camera angle and all this kind of stuff. But that's pretty much the basics of how you would animate a minecart. And there you have it, guys. That was the how to animate a minecart tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. Hopefully you guys can use this in your animations and it'll help you and improve things for you or at least inspire you to do something on your own. In any case, that's it for me. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something, as I already said, and I repeated myself. If you like the video, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.